American Idol singer David Archuleta, he's opening up about his decision to come out last year and his faith crisis. Steve Osinsami spoke with him. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, George. The day before we sat down with David Archuleta, the Mormon Church came out supporting legislation in Congress that would codify the right to same-sex marriage. This now 31-year-old says that's a good step, but he says the church leaders need to stop telling queer people like him that they need to change. Whenever you More than 14 years have flown by since singer David Archuleta first became an American Idol. On television and in the Mormon church where he was raised and celebrated. But he says that when he admitted to himself and the world last year that he was attracted to men, he says the leaders of his church failed to accept him as God made him to be. Have you left the church? I've taken a step away. So you came to this conclusion recently? The beginning of this year. I've had a faith crisis this year, so now I'm like, <laughs> I've had to deconstruct everything. The Church of Latter-day Saints is the fourth largest Christian church in America with leaders they call apostles. And after meeting with one of them last fall, Archuleta decided that he was done with what he says are contradictions in the faith. I think three times in that conversation, he said, well, may, we just need to find you a good girl. Maybe you can find a, a good girl and, and I'm like, that's not the solution. And I said, can you see why I'm thinking so much? Because I'm trying everything I can to find a way to still belong here because this has meant so much to me. We talked with him outside of one of the majestic temples at the church's headquarters in Salt Lake City where they would often ask him to sing. And in seconds, it was clear why he says the apostles were trying so hard to change him and keep him in the church. Even as an out queer man, the faithful visiting from around the world kept stopping to share their thanks. I would say it's the church structure mm -hmm. more than the people, because the people have been amazing. Since we first talked with him a year ago, he met a boyfriend, said goodbye to that boyfriend, is dating again, and says he sees himself marrying a man someday. He says he's such a far cry from the young guy who almost married three different women and once considered ending his life. You're trying to decide what's worse. Is it worse for this feeling of being desiring men to finally explode where I can't control it anymore? And you look at it as that Satan trying to take over my soul, or is it better for me to end my life and that way I'm free from that temptation? It, it got to a point where I realized, you know what, there's something in me telling me that my value, there's value to me still living, yeah. even if I was queer. And that was really hard for me to accept because my church wasn't outright aggressive towards gay people, but it's a very passive, aggressive, stern stance they have about it. A rejection. Yeah. The apostles say they want to keep meeting with him. And in fact, they met with him yesterday, but he says he's not going to keep trying to become something he's not, and that sometimes the healthiest thing you can do is walk away. He's got a new tour, new music, and a new outlook on life. And we should underline, for anyone who is considering suicidal thoughts, please call for help. There is a national hotline that you can call or text just by dialing the numbers 988. George. Steve Osinsami, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.